Hey guys, it's Ben again, and last time we talked a little bit about you know how I got started helping people with this kind of stuff and why I you know, take my time to teach things and help people out. It's really all about just wanting to be you know some little have some little tiny part in helping you guys be successful in your certification prep and in your careers overall. And today we're actually going to talk a little bit about how certification can impact your career. Um, before I start talking exclusively about certification, I just want to kind of get this thing, you know, out and out, get this thing out. Really, um, so a lot of people challenge certification with, you know, why don't I just go get an MBA? Well, I don't have the time or the money, and I know that a lot of people are the same way to go and, you know, invest all that into an MBA. And it really, really scares the pants off me when I hear people that go and you know, they go straight from getting their degree to going and getting an MBA without really even having any experience at all. You know, they're just, they assume that once they get that graduate degree that they're going to be able to just leap into the workforce. And that's not always the case, but all that money is already sunk into that. So you know, it just scares me to think that people are doing that kind of stuff. I'm not saying you should not go and get your um, your MBA if that's what you get your heart set on. Um, I'm not trying to change you know, the things that you're excited about, passionate about, or what you feel like your purpose is. But I am trying to say that that's not for everyone. So the people that think that you know a graduate degree and MBA is a one size fits all, it's really not. Um, anyway, that's my little soapbox thing for that. So moving on, just to certification. HRCI, the Human Resources Certification Institute, actually released a white paper earlier this summer about the value of certification and, you know, white paper, blah, blah, blah. There's actually some really good data in there about how much an employer, you know, it compares some what HR professionals feel is valuable about getting certified and what employers feel is valuable about it. They compare, you know, undergraduate, graduate certification and certificate programs, you know, what's the cost, what's the value, how are they perceived in the marketplace, um, how are they factored into hiring decisions, all this neat information about how it can impact your career. Um, I'm actually going to put a link down below the video if you're interested in checking it out. It's not for everybody, but it might give you some, some interesting information uh, for the next video topic. Um, I'll get to that in a minute. Um, anyway, one thing in there that I thought was really interesting is it talks about how you can leverage your certification for career success in th really three big areas. There are four, but one of them is consulting, and a lot of us are not consultants, so you know, one doesn't really always apply. The other three are in a hiring decision, in a uh, retention decision, and in a promotion decision. You know, those are three things that all of us face pretty much um, in, our, in our careers, in our work lives. Uh, if you're going to be hired, if you're going to be kept around, if there's some kind of you know, layoff or something else, or if you're going to get a promotion that you're shooting for, having that certification can help to set you apart from someone else you know, in your department. You're both similar experience, but you've taken the time and the effort to actually go out there and get certified. You know. I'm not saying it's a magic or a silver bullet or whatever, but that really does set you apart saying that you have taken the time to study. You know, I went back and looked. I studied 70-something hours probably for when I took the exam. I don't know that any of my coworkers spent 70 hours doing anything, you know, personal or professional development-wise. Um, so, you know, that's just something that's, that really can help you to be different from everyone else. Um, something else once the certification is done you can use on-the-job opportunities you know, in your daily daily work life some on-the-job opportunities to help you with recertification credits um, if you go to hrci.org look at recertification uh, they have some different information there on how you can do that and what kind of rules and stuff apply um, I'm trying to think Really, though, if a company sees the value um, 
of the certification, like I talked about a minute ago, the value of certification as opposed to you know a graduate degree or whatever else. If you can help them to see the value in that, then that's really going to help with what we're going to talk about in the next video, which is how to get your employer to pay for it. Um, I know that would have been really helpful for me. I was not employed, um, at, at least in the HR field, when I got my when I got my certification. So, you know, that really wasn't an option for me. But for a lot of people who are working in HR right now, I know they would really love the opportunity for their company to pay for it. And hopefully, in the next video will help you with some of those things. Um, but anyway, if you've had some kind of career success. I've actually heard a success story recently. I cannot remember the lady's name, but she emailed me and said, I was going for this position, um, you know, and the recruiter said it was basically a toss between the two candidates, and the certification actually made the difference. So, um, uh, time to go make some dinner. Um, anyway, so there there really are stories out there. If you have a story about how it helped with a you know, hiring decision, promotion, um, something like that I would love to hear about it I love sharing those stories hearing those stories if you did something really cool to get some recertification credits or did something just you know, with that certification that was beyond just carrying those letters around behind your name and you know using those to feel kind of smug um, I'd love to hear about it anyway um, thanks for stopping by for the second video in the series and I hope you're looking forward to more